question though. How would you guys feel about me having like my own TV show? Like a I would like what I a would sitcom love it. or reality? Yeah, like a, no, like like me and my dad. Like I would love like, it. I would love it. Would like love Rev it. running on. Yeah. Like, yes. Yeah. 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 I would yeah. like that a lot. Yeah, we're thinking about like you know like trying to figure that out. It's a lot of stuff we want to do this year. Like, I I would watch it. I would definitely watch it. And I think a lot of people want to see that too because, you know, they don't, they only see their legends mm-hmm. on, on social media now. Mm-hmm. Like, you don't really see them on TV like yeah. that outside of growing up hip hop mm-hmm. and stuff yeah. like that. And you only get like a small glimpse. Not like Rev's Run House when yeah. you see real issues um, with the family, the how way. they solve yeah. the problem. Yeah. And then he's dope as fuck. His daughter's mm-hmm. dope as mm-hmm. fuck. Mm-hmm. So I would love to see that. So, yeah. I kind of feel like I like. Not really. This is probably just me overthinking, but I feel like I probably put out the wrong image. Like, I didn't want my dad a part of my career, but it really was, like, just stamping myself. But our relationship is so dope and so funny and, like, just mm-hmm. a real father-daughter relationship. But, like, I could talk to my dad about stuff. Like, mm-hmm. I could talk to him about, like, my lady issues. Like, whatever I'm going through, I could talk to my dad. And I feel like... Take Capri and lady issues? Yeah, and, you know, he handles that things... That is be hilarious. He handles things, like, really, really well. But I feel like that's important to see, like... I feel like that would encourage a lot of fathers. And inspiring, to, yeah. yeah. Inspiring like, to a lot of the young dads. They mm-hmm. want to probably want to be a dad like DJ K. And Kimberly. you, if you pay attention to your kid and find out that there's something that they love to do, you could go, I, I'm not saying use your kids for money, but I'm just saying, like, if you invest... She, yeah, if they those guys get paid yeah, some type of way. Yeah, no, if you invest <laughs> into your kid, like, everybody be so focused on, like, all right, let me just do what I'm doing. Like, like if you invest into your kid, you mm-hmm. never know what can happen. Like, if you... Oh, at you, least involve them. That's what yeah, I do. And, I involve my sons yeah. with, with live ad and the things, and they really love it. They're inspired by it. They love mm-hmm. what I do. And it carry on on into what they want to do. Mm-hmm. I got a, one that wants to be a DJ, mm-hmm. one who's a YouTuber, tuber. he be like, hi guys, <laughs> today, to yeah, <laughs> welcome to my page. That's yeah, crazy. so he's into that too. So yeah, I think that's important too. And plus you passing it on. It's like, mm-hmm. you know, especially people of color, we don't got too many things to, to pass exactly. down to our children. And too many things to be, we don't got a lot to see to be inspired by. Mm-hmm. Like we, we have some things, but like, very select people do certain things because they're afraid of how like they're gonna be looked at or if they're gonna be blackballed and like like you got people like Jay Z, you got people like Puffy who do certain things, but what about the people who are in lower positions than them? Mm-hmm. Like where's the inspiration coming from in that sense? Like, you know, like you don't gotta have a billion dollars to inspire somebody or do something good for somebody or make a name for yourself. So that's really just what I wanna project on the people like around my age group yeah. and like whether you in this business or you in law school or whatever it is that you want to do, like just have the courage to get up and do it. Once you take the first step of doing it, like it's lit. Like you never know what's going to happen. And you're absolutely right because I do media and I be at live and location. And a lot of the content I get is from my phone. Mm-hmm. While everybody else be having these monsters on their show, on their shoulders and they really think they're doing something because they got all these gadgets and gadgets. But I'm still doing the same thing mm-hmm. you're doing with my little yeah. ass bum ass phone. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So, you know, you got to start from somewhere. You just have mm-hmm. to have the courage to do it. You know, what's the difference between you and them is courage. Yep. Bravery. And Bravery. I, yeah. And that's like, that gets, like people say, um, hard work beats talent. That mm-hmm. is true. But like, before the hard work, before the talent, you got, something got to make you get up. Like, mm-hmm. something got to make you be like, all right, this is the day. I'm going to just take care of everything. And I'm finally in a place where my team, their their whole focus is me. Like, we're like. Not me, but us, like the Viva Love brand, like that's a, Because if you win, focus. they win. Exactly. But yeah. what I love is that they're all branching out in their fields and becoming stronger in their fields so that when we come together in a circle, it makes sense. Like yeah. Everybody's strong enough to do what I need them to do and more. Like, and it becomes bigger because yeah. of all the um, assets and everything mm-hmm. everybody acquired during the come up. Yep. See, not everybody don't understand that. The come up is where you really establish those relationships, mm-hmm. get yeah. those gems, get those... Uh, be able to make those situations happen because right. you did the footwork and, and the grind for it all. Right. Everybody was just want to be zero to a hundred immediately, mm-hmm. but it's the journey that really right. gets you all those things. Exactly. And yeah. you got to think about loyalty too. Like yes. this business, like it is, it is, business is business. And yes, it is a shark eat shark world. But like, if you're in a team, it's not strictly about you. Like it's about the people who's with you. And if you stay loyal to those people, Nine times out of ten, I mean, you got a couple stakes here and there, but nine times out of ten, you'll have the same team. Have you ever experienced that? Nah. Yeah. Some yeah, a sneaky, couple times. sneaky motherfuckers. Yeah, a couple times. I mean, like, my main people have mm-hmm. always been my main people. They never, like, did no, like, crazy shit or nothing like that. Like, the same people I was with 
three, four years ago, I'm still with today. If you don't see me with them, you see me by myself. Like, mm-hmm. I'm never with nobody really new. But um, we, we add people onto the team, but for certain things. like It got to make you, sense. Yeah, like, you yeah. don't just get to be a part of my life. Like, mm-hmm. you don't get to just be a That's part a of my life. That's a privilege. Yeah, like, you got to, because the people who've been around for so long put in the work for me to even be like, all right, like, I can fuck with you. But again, these are people who are my family members. So yeah, outside people, I don't even know y'all like that. Y'all really gotta like put on for real, for real. But it still goes into like <clears throat> just having with my team. If I do bring new people, them being loyal to me, like it's certain things they won't say, certain things they won't allow to happen around me, and like they won't let nobody fuck me over. They my eyes when I can't see, my ears when I can't hear. So. Shout out to the team. Mm -hmm. And that's important. I think everybody who's trying to do this for real should start looking into doing that. And and look next to you. Stop looking always outside of the situation. And stop Stop looking for the littest person. Yeah. The person who... The person who is not the most lit is probably the one that can help you the most. The most. Like, the absolute, yeah. And so I learned that the hard attention. way, like, too. Like, open your eyes, open your ears, pay attention. Yeah. Like I said, look to the side of you. Your, your motherfucker standing right next to you probably got it all just yeah. waiting for you to just ask. Just ask me, right? It's a fact. Yeah. So we're about to get up off this. It was such a pleasure talking with you and vibing with you. And Thank you for I can't me. wait to. We're going to have another motherfucking season, goddammit. Uh-huh. I'm throwing your We TV. <laughs> hey. Oh, hey, hey, we TV. Go, she's trying to go the family route. You Growing up here by New lady. York. No, they got to finish that bullshit at SOB. I want to know what nah, happened next. I do, I do think it ended a little, like, we do got to, Abruptly, like, you, know, like, you can't just do that. Call you can't right? do that. Right? You, you know. can't, nah. Nah, you can't end it like that. We need more. And we need a fucking spinoff. We need this, that family values. I don't mm. know what they call it, their family, mm-hmm. whatever. We need that, too. Right? Yep, absolutely. Family of love. Family of love. Family of love. Ah, you heard love. it here first. Family of love. Heard it here first. We did the spell. Yo, Shout out to Black it. Rose. Hold yeah, up. see? If you don't Shout stop it Black at the Rose. beginning, it keeps growing and growing and get bigger. We see why I'm kind of trying to nip it at the bud? Yeah, to Black make love. that reality yeah. shit happen.